Righto guys, currently in the middle of border ranges at the moment and today I'm, I'm filming another day ride. I'm filming another sort of entry level beginner day ride. Uh, for those of you that are maybe new to southeast Queensland or northern New South Wales, maybe you're new to adventure riding, um, I thought I might put together this relatively easy loop that has a bit of everything, a bit of tarmac, bit of bitumen, some sightseeing and stuff as well. Like every trip, it has to start somewhere. So let's go back to the beginning. Well guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, hello and welcome. If you're not, and you're more of a long time viewer, welcome back. Today's video is gonna be a little bit more directed at the newbies. I've seen the same question popping up over and over again on Gold Coast Adventure Bike Riders Facebook page. And that question is, hey, I'm just getting into adventure riding. I've just got myself a bike. I'm really new to it, where should I go riding? What's a good route? What's some good tracks that I can go riding on that aren't gonna scare me, that aren't too intimidating, that are gonna sort of help me wet my feet? So today, that's what this video is about. I'm gonna take you out to Border Rangers. I'm gonna show you how I get there, how I get home. But keep in mind, this is probably one of the most popular sort of loops for a lot of adventure riders um, that that are, are new and that are experienced around that sort of northern New South Wales, southeast Queensland area. So, so this route isn't just specific to newbies, but this is a fantastic one if you're just starting to get into it. So, just come onto the dirt throughout the back of Canungra. This is pretty much where the good stuff begins. So, let's get into it. It's a little bit nippy this morning. It's um, well, it's still autumn, but the temperatures are they're slowly the temperatures are slowly starting to drop week after week as we get closer to winter. And on the way out here this morning, um, it's about 12 and a half degrees. It's sitting at about 13 and a half now, so it's sort of slowly starting to warm up a little bit. But it's um, yeah, a little bit a little bit cool. Right, left the bow desert. Guys, I'm gonna put a ride map in the description as well, so you can actually download this one and just follow it, just ride it. It'll just be a Google Maps uh, ride map, but at least you'll be able to sort of see where it goes and change little bits if you want to. So normally, I would turn right back there and you'd head out towards Rathdowney and you sort of, you turn left towards Innes Plain, which takes you out to Lodestone just before, just before Rathdowney you turn left. But if we head out here through Kerry, through Darlington Park and stuff like that, it's just a, a much nicer road to ride. There's it's a bit of a, a back road, especially with weather like this. This is the way you want to go. I've got to say, one of the really cool things about having this new car play unit on here is obviously I get to see where I'm going, but these back cruisy sort of back country roads, when I'm just chilling out. I can just put on a bit of music so I don't have to dick around with the unit on the side of my helmet buttons are all clunky and stuff just press play on here and away we go if I don't want to look at Luke Combs' face back on the maps love it oh, look at that yeah nice jeez it's busy here today wow Well, 
if you've never ridden or driven through here or camped here, this is Darlington Park. Great little camp spot. This is heaps better than taking the bloody highway. <laughs> Especially if you got the time, just cruise. So this way is through to Lions Road. We're gonna ride Lions Road until we get to a, a little dirt track called Sims Road. We're gonna turn left off there. We're gonna to start to head up through to uh, Board of the Rangers. This area through here is so beautiful. Just one of the most peaceful places to ride through. And if I'm being honest, I don't ride through this way enough. Sometimes you just sort of, <laughs> you wanna to get to a, a location down south quick and you jump on the highway and you just, you punch it there. But, oh, this really, really is a beautiful ride definitely need to do it a bit more often that is a campsite that I don't know the name of running creek is most certainly running a little bit too cold to jump in this morning I think maybe if it heats up later How nice is that down there? I imagine all that's private property all up through there, but I'd love to just come and sit in this water one day, one stinking hot summer's day. Mm, very nice. here and chuck some cash in the donation thing here we go bang a fiver in there here we are border rangers national park this is literally the border <laughs> queensland new south wales okay so there's a lookout just down the road here um, i'm gonna pull in there have a bit of a sticky beak at it I can't for the love of God remember what it is, but um, it's not far down here. I think it's only a couple of k's, so pull in there, have a little quick snack and hydrate a bit, and I'll give you a bit of a look at the view. Border Loop Lookout, that's what it's called. A couple of bikes. So that over there, that's where we're, we're going. There's definitely going to be some, there's a better look out there, heaps better look out there, but this one's still pretty nice. We'll, um, might throw the drone up at the other one and just gives you a little bit of a bird's eye view of that one. It's pretty, pretty specky, but yeah, not bad. A little bit further down, there's a road called Grady Creek Road, Grady's Creek Road for memory. Has a couple of tiny little sort of causeways on it, which are just always fun to ride across. So we'll uh, take a cheeky little left-hand turn and it only runs alongside this road as well, but it's, um, 
Yeah, it's got those little little causeways on it, which normally have some some water flowing across them. It's always always fun, so we're going to go that way. Grady's Creek Road. The railway line going over the top. Water surprisingly clear. So nice. Last time we came through here, Jade almost bend it because he gave it a wrist full <laughs> and it was uh, like super slimy. Yep, still slimy. I think there's like three or four through this little little side road. So, hey. a bit quick a rope swing I think there might be one more just over this little hill after that I'm pretty sure it oh yeah you can sort of see on the map there it ends up putting us back on um, Lions Road so funny. A couple of stuffed toys fishing. When you come down through here, make sure you go through there. It's just, I don't know, fun little, fun little dirt road with some super slick causeways. So maybe just ride over them slow. <laughs> I take no responsibility for stacks. Okay, Symes Road. This takes us to um, Water Rangers. There's multiple ways that you can actually get in to Border Rangers, but doing this loop this way from the Gold Coast, you get that beautiful scenic ride through Lions Road, and then you get to run some of the dirt heading up this way. You can do them either way, but this way, this way ends you up back on the coast. And um, yeah, I don't know, it's just my favorite way to go, to be honest.
car park. It's only a 200 metre walk to get to the lookout, after which you're rewarded with an amazing view of the east coast. There you go, eh? Brisbane, Tweed, Byron, there's more. Lismore, Epic Views, Byron, Tweed, and Brizzy out there. You can see how fast, I don't know if you guys can see that on the camera, but that cloud is absolutely hammering. It's moving so quick. See that cloud just hitting the edge of this mountain and just rolling straight over it. I was going to put the drone up, but it's kind of the breeze is like really picked up a bit now, and I don't particularly feel like losing another drone. So, sorry guys, you're just going to have to deal with it. You have to go with this view. Whatever of it you can see, anyway. But yeah, well worth the trip, well worth coming over and having a look. Well, that's about that. Ah, all right. This is the way we want to go. However, there is a picnic area up there. I think there's a bit of a route, a walk. Oh yeah, Bar Mountain uh, Circuit. So there's actually quite a few sort of lookout areas up here that you can have a little bit of a, a, um, a hike, walk and sticky beak, but um, those ones up there, there's some, some really nice picnic areas. This rear tire has, has definitely reached the end of its life. It's the Motors Tractionator Adventure. And I might actually do just a little, not an in-depth review, but just a little bit of a a, uh, a video addressing some of the good and the bad stuff about it, and how many Ks it's lasted, and you know, what I think of it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a bit slippery through this stuff. There's not really any knobs left on it except for on the side, which I'm not using at the moment but every time I put a put a boot on the brake it sort of locks up so it's kind of to be expected out of a tyre easy kind of to be expected out of a tyre I think I've got about 12,000 k's out of that tyre so I honestly I can't complain but yeah I don't know might do a little video on it we'll see how we go Backside of Border Rangers. Nice. Idiots. Uh. All right. Now on to Williams Road. Will, Will, yes, Williams Road. Now on to Williams Road. We're gonna. Uh, we're gonna go for a ride. The back part of this trip is going to take us through Mebbin National Forest, uh, Mebbin National Park, Mebbin National Treasure. I don't know. I can't. <laughs> I can't ever remember what they're called. But yeah, that's where we're going. Thank you. Need to be a little careful with my speed because. It is double demerits in New South Wales today. And the last time I was in New South Wales, I may or may not have got a sneaky little fine. So, nope, you're going fast. So 
so I don't particularly want to replicate last trip. The weather was great this morning. I don't know what happened, but now <laughs> it's just, it's sort of gone to shit. I mean, it haven't really got rained on yet, but it's not beautiful and sunny, is it? Alright, gonna sting a left up here onto Cadell Road. Back on the dirt again. So this road's gonna take us through to Cutter's Campground. Uh, I haven't camped there before, but it's cool. Cool little campground, looks pretty well kept and stuff like that. We're then gonna head sort of north from there towards Toyalgum um, and yeah continue to make our way back to the coast but as you can see the sign there we're now in Mebane National Park this is another one of those sort of um, fire trails I guess you'd call it through the forest that is just sort of good to just get some dirt experience like I said for the newbies uh, for you guys that have ridden dirt before and you're just looking for somewhere to ride, you know, you'll be fine with this, but for you newbies, this is good stuff to practice on. Um, get used to the road surface and whatnot. Pretty much the rest of the trip has also been like that, so it's worth including into the the uh, little sort of beginner day loop. Coming into Cutter's Campground, as you can see. This is it. Pretty nice little uh, little campsite. Looks looks pretty well kept. Has all the amenities for those those people that like like the creature comforts, unlike unlike us others are savages. Uh, it's a good run through here. Sorry if I'm yelling into the microphone. <laughs> the faster you go on a bike, the less you can hear. Uh, oopsie. I'm supposed to turn there. What am I doing? If you turn right there, it takes you to um, Mawulamba, and I didn't want to go that way. I wanted to keep going up a bit further, ride this a little bit more through to Tyalgum. Just um, sometimes it's a bit of a habit just turning there. <laughs> so I've just jumped on the anchors to turn and realised that's not what I wanted to do. Anyway, anyway, onward to Tyalgum. Expert. It looks like it's raining right out there. Damn it. Thought I dodged it. I thought I dodged it. Okie dokie. We have now made it to Tyalgum. So, from this point, honestly, you can pretty much go back to the Gold Coast if that's where you've come from, like myself. You can go back pretty much any way you want. 
I'm going to head up through to Chillingham and then I'm going to go through the back of uh, Advanced Town right through and pop out on the, the back of Narang area there or you could go through Kurumban Valley, Tweed Valley Way uh, pretty much where, wherever you want so anyway guys as you can see the back end of my trip is going to entail a little bit of wet weather but if you like these videos please let me know I'm going to try and do a few more of these sort of I guess like I said entry level beginner level adventure ride videos yeah let me know if you want to see more of these videos I like doing the local stuff as well as the longer stuff but as always thank you very much for watching guys and I'll definitely see you in the next video cheers